We have a story Hi, on Dinah Peter and her Smith. dog I'm training in Kansas State University. In a new year. episode of What's Trending. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Howdy. And I'm Tanner. Let's get into the news. Recently, Kyle and I went to find out more about an interesting opportunity one semen student and her dogs found. Dinah Woodman is very known in the dog training world. Let's go learn more about it. Uh, Dinah was seven years old um, when she first started showing and training and trialing with a dog that's now 15 years old, uh, was one of my trainees. Um, I, of course, I started out on corgis, but um, I've also trained um, my Australian Shepherd and then my Dutch Shepherd, and I'm working with my new Border Collie puppy right now. Um, I've run lots of other people's dogs, so I've run different Border Collies, Shelties, um, Norwegian Elk Hounds, all different kinds of dogs. Maybe 2015, I think, was the first year she finished a her own championship where she did all the work for the training and got all the qualifiers that led up to the award. Unlike most people, she actually trains her own dogs. Yes, I've seen her compete in agility multiple times and it's really cool to watch her because um, she trains her own dogs and then she teaches them how to do all these different things. I'm very excited for her to go to Switzerland. Uh, she's traveled with the EOJ national team last year and this year she's going to Switzerland. I'm really excited about it. I, I enjoy high stakes competitions. It kind of gets the adrenaline pumping. It's, it's always lots of fun to go to different countries. Um, I'm crazy proud. There's only 22 um, teenagers from the entire United States that got chosen for Team USA. Last year, I think the number was, was it 19 last year? Um, so to get to represent the United States is a pretty big deal, I think, anytime that happens. If you see Dinah in the hallways, tell her good luck. Now back to your anchors. Congratulations, Dinah. Now on with the rest of your news. If you would like to join the Writing Center staff next year, the application deadline has been extended to May 15th at the end of the day. The application forms and information are on their website. Eight FCCLA members have qualified for nationals in Anaheim, California. To help pay, FCCLA will hold multiple fundraisers. From May 6th through the 23rd, they will be selling burritos. And on the 31st, you can go to the IHOP North, for 20, and 20% of the proceeds will go to FCCLA. The SHS parking permit purchase process will be moved from a walk-in, first-come, first-serve format to an online format. Beginning on July 5th, SHS drivers can visit the web store where they will be redirected to a site which will allow them to choose and pay for parking permits. Emery is with us to tell us a little bit about the junior class and their significance to Seaman High School. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. LaDuke and he's going to talk to us about the t-shirt contest for juniors. So what is it for? So the Seaman Alumni Association is having a, a t-shirt design competition for our juniors in our building to um, honor our district for our 100 year anniversary next year. So they have a call for art for any juniors in the building who would like to design a t-shirt that they can sell uh, next year as, far to, as part of that celebration. When are the designs due? So the designs are due May 23rd and so you can either give those to me or you can send those to a gal named Paula uh, and the, those email addresses are available through the announcements. And uh, yeah, send us a design and uh, if yours is chosen by uh, the alumni at the alumni banquet coming up, then your t-shirt will be put into production and uh, sold next year to help raise money for scholarships. All right, thanks Mr. LaDuke. A couple of new scholarship opportunities have been added to the class of 2019 Schoology page. Make sure to check them out. The following students have been selected as this week's safe winners. Kay Townsend, Alexa Walker, and Parker Jower. Thank you for pledging to always wear your seatbelt. Stop by the security office to pick up your prize. Now we're heading over on to Mason with some info on some sports. This morning, Jaden Yingling signed a letter of intent to play soccer at Kansas City Kansas Community College. Congratulations. 
Coach Tuck and former Coach Garmin will instruct the Shawnee Starks to improve strokes and provide a solid workout. The workout sessions run from Monday through Thursday, 6.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. from June 3rd to July 18th. Last night, baseball won against Hayden 6-2, and our Lady Vikes soccer team beat Highland Park 8-0. The league track meet will be tomorrow at Hummer Sports Park. Let's go to Joss to see if there's more rain in our future. Good afternoon to you. Lots of rain last night and since Sunday, the Billard Airport is up over two and a half inches of rain. Flash flood watch continues until 1 a.m. tonight. So let's take a look at the severe weather risk for today. It has decreased quite a bit with lots of morning convection down to a general risk for thunderstorms. But let's time it out for you. By 3 o'clock, I think most of the activity will be to our west and will probably be dry through about 5 or 6 o'clock this afternoon. But different from last night, the rain will move in earlier. So by 7 o'clock, probably some scattered thunderstorms uh, nearing the area. And then by the time you wake up tomorrow, that should be system should be long gone, and we should finally catch a break from the rain. So in terms of severe weather today, this is the chance for high wind or large hail. Could still have some winds up to 50 miles per hour, or hailstones up to nickel size, but the chance of severe weather is very low in those categories. We're still holding on to a two out of five in terms of flash flooding. And now through SETV seven day forecast, you can see that once we get past today, the storm should just be for Wednesday, cool tomorrow with 52 degrees. That could feel refreshing, but also very cold. Friday morning, 40 degrees, but notice we break out into more sunshine for Sunday and Monday as highs return to the 70s. Now, back to your anchors. We will now go to Kaylee to see what's trending. Hey Vikes, I'm Kaylee Workman and I'm here to tell you what's trending. The Kansas Can program's goal is to get seniors involved. We take short videos of them saying what they're going to do after high school and their academic plans. The segment will go on for the month of May. I went around asking seniors about their plans. Let's go check it out. I'm Benjamin Pisaki. I go to Seaman High School, and I'm going to the Divers Institute of Technology for underwater welding. Kansas can, and I am. That's all for this week. I'll be back next week with another episode of Kansas Can and with our seniors. Have a great day, Vikes. Some interesting choices for our seniors. We're all out of news. Goodbye. Tomorrow we will have a story about Cinco de Mayo. Have a good one.